Meow, meow, love me cat. Live on tape, from inside a scratching post, it's the Love Me Cat Show, with Owly, Bronzo the Robot, and Chibi, the full-time audience member. <laughs> Today, nose for news with Kate Micucci. And here's your embodied request for affection, Love Me Cat. Hi, Internet. We're here with comedian, writer, and social theorist, uh, Kate Micucci. Welcome to the Love Me Cat Show. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm really happy to be here, guys. It's hey. our pleasure. Sweet. Social theorist. Yeah, there's a lot of theories. Let's let's hear some of those. Well, I was putting her on the spot. That's a horrible that question. We were so, just told not to do that. A horrible question. <coughs> I apologize. No, that's all right. Um, no, it was supposed to be a good, nice experience for you, and it's, it's turned into a cocoon of horror. Well, not not quite yet, but it could, I guess. Right, yeah. right. But it shouldn't even it shouldn't even show a hint of that. It should be all light and fun and pleasant. Easy I breezy. Disagree. Oh really? Easy and fun. Uh, I think a, a, a talk show experience should should be fraught with danger. Interesting. Like maybe like a, it, this chair has like a trap, and I could just fall right through it, and I wouldn't even know. Right, <laughs> right. Like lava. That's how they head. used to do uh, uh, the criminal courts. Oh. And the Jack Parr show. Correct. <laughs> so let's ask some of the questions your fans are wondering. How do you feel during a thunderstorm? Excited. It's very, it's like pretty and you don't know if, you know. Where I, do you hide? I don't really hide. I usually like look out the window or sit in the car. Okay, okay. Well, we're learning a lot of interesting ways but, of looking at life. But I, I think, you know, uh, I live in LA, so I miss out on, on thunderstorms. But you're from, you're from, what, Kansas? No, I'm from Pennsylvania. Well, New Jersey originally, and then Pennsylvania. Oh, that sounds like a story. Is it a story? How, how, why did you happen to leave from New Jersey and he's go to He's got a nose for news. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds like a story. Big news. In what's, 1988. What's, what's behind that one? Right. The old Jersey, Pennsylvania migration. Had you done something wrong? Um, well, no, not really. It was hmm. just that uh, Pennsylvania, there was, it was cheaper to live there and there was more land. Now it you sounds like land. we live in the 1700s. You wanted but, land. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we wanted more land. And my parents, they promised me, they said, oh, you're gonna have a tr we're going to have trees and you can build a tree house. And oh. then we moved to a uh, house that was built on a on farm field, so there was absolutely there was no trees, not even uh, No trees. Have you, have you a small space like a tree house switch. in your life now, like a, a, a cushion fort or anything like well, that? Well, I have a loft, and so I kind of do have like a fort. It has a fake fireplace, it has a giant bean bag, and then I climb out the window and climb up the ladder. I shouldn't be telling my landlord this, so hopefully he's not watching. And I go up on the roof, and it's What do you great. do on the roof? I hang out, sometimes I read, play my ukulele, sunbathe, you know, all different things. Wow. The roof has plenty of options. You brought a friend? I did. I brought I brought my friend Camille. You want to meet her? Yes. 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 <laughs> and don't hit on Camille. I mean, you can. It doesn't what? matter. Okay. All, All right. right. I'll be good. Um. Hi there. Hi. Hi, Camille. What's your name? Love me, cat. Oh, hi, love me, cat. How Look, are you? I'm very good, thank you. I uh, I've never been in a studio before. It's the first first time. Well, welcome. Thank You'll you. find it's it's if you ever see if you're frightened by anything, just remember uh, it's it's uh, it's a dream factory. Oh, so my dreams can come true. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. Huh. What what do you dream about? Oh, you know, mostly I dream about mm, like uh, American Idol. The harder they sing, the more money they get, right? Well, I wanna I wanna do it, but I'm I'm not old enough yet. Oh, how old are you? Uh, eight. Oh. Yeah. Could you sing? Could you let us hear what kind of stuff you would sing on the American Idol tele telecast? Oh, yeah. I've been practicing for eight years, really. Oh, terrific. So, from, uh, from ab ovo, as they say. <laughs> sure. Right. Um, you want me to sing it? Okay. Please. <clears throat> there were bad... A lot of other people were happy to live out their lives in, in Philadelphia. Sure. But you had dreams of stardom. So, so what was that like? How, where did those come from? Um, I don't really know. I think I, we always made movies in my backyard, ah. my brother and I, you know? What was your, what was your favorite? <sighs> I don't know if I can say it. Come on, oh, please. You're amongst, <laughs> you're amongst talking animals. Here we go. This is confession time. My, my brother and I uh, reenacted the O.J. Simpson chase because we had a white Bronco. <laughs> oh, nice. And so we thought, well, of course, we have the car 
this makes so much sense. But we couldn't drive. We weren't old enough to drive, so we, we got the neighbor kid to move um, trees in the window. Right. So it made it look like the car was moving, but everything behind it was still stationary. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's beautiful. But we changed all the names so we wouldn't get sued. R very smart. smart. Very smart. smart. Yeah, so it was O.J. Sampson. I was Kate I. Kalen. Uh -huh. And then right. it was... Uh, uh -huh. Uh, I can't, cow rings. Yeah, instead of cowlings. Because the kids down the block were still paying off the time they had done the with the King assassination. Right, right. right. <laughs> the, you know, they almost lost their house in that. So. Right, right. Yeah. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the show. Don't forget to click subscribe. For every subscription, Bronzo will do a laser drum solo. Leave a comment down below. Tell us what you liked, what you didn't like. If you're the first one to comment, make sure you comment first. So that everyone knows you were the first.